Hello YouTubers, hello Bootyanas. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Please share, you know, be generous. I also share back and I support all YouTubers. I have my little bun in today, y'all. But I wanted to come through today, you know, just to do a quick little mukbang. It's nothing too big, you know, but I did get a few, um, yes, I'm sitting on the floor. Just because I just wanted to get, like, right into my plate. I washed my hands. I have my Arizona peach tea to wash it down. And I'm going to get started. So, the purpose of a mukbang, I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking, y'all, because I'm definitely going to be eating this. Let me get into this so y'all can see all the butter and, oh, my God, look at that. Look at that, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That egg, those shrimp. So, the shrimp actually aren't pre-peeled. I think that's the husband. He's calling me during my YouTube video. He's literally calling me. Hello? Hey, Tim. I'm on my way home. Oh, okay. I'm doing a YouTube video. Can you wait for me for, like, 30 minutes? Okay. Thank you. You can join if you want. All right, sugar. All right. So, I'm back, you guys. Anyway, so this is the first plate, and I'm going to get into, and I'm going to make it kind of like a short, quick little mukbang and eat, like, because we actually have some things we have to do. But I wanted to come and share with you guys because I've been having a taste for seafood, and I need something really quick. Normally, it's with my sister-in-law, but it was, like, really last minute. Mm. I'm going to first start with this egg, y'all. This egg is probably gonna be so good. Mmm. Oh my god. So, this place has all types of crab plates. And the very bountiful one, which is this one, I just added some extra shrimp. This is just for me. My husband doesn't eat seafood much. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good, y'all. So, I go to the place, and, like, he always looks out for me and throws me, like, mm, so much extra seafood. And I'm like, I can not eat it. So, I have a little extra today. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, excuse my camera and just how close it is. I'm going to have to go get a nap in, y'all, but this is so good. I don't feel like it yet. So, generally for me, when I do my mukbang, I do have topics, but I'm just here to eat today. Like, for one thing, you know, this is really good. And, like, mmm, that's a shrimp, man. Mmm, got, mmm, it's kind of dripping. And it got all that butter. Mmm. So, girl, mind you, for me, I started watching Tyler Perry's new movie, his little new series, Sisters. And when I tell you that it's so good, shout out to Tyler Perry. Shout out to how he just can turn a real life situation into, like, you know, the real, the real tea. Like, that, that, that series is everything. And I didn't even get a chance to watch the other one. I think it's the Oval or Oval or something like that. Um, I'm definitely going to tune in. Mm. I'm trying to talk and eat. Mmm. Very hard. Uh, I'm going to tune into that. But that's going to be tonight because we have a few errands we have to run and things we have to do to, with each other there. Me and my husband are supposed to go to the movies to go see Black and Blue. But um, back to this sister's, honey. Girl, when I tell you... So... Mm, I'm getting to a crab. Look at these crabs, y'all. Butter, garlic. Let me focus. Let me get it focused. Look at that. Look at that. So, the freaking boys, like the men, not boys. Well, I guess they men. They still kind of act like boys. This is my little thing for my shells, my bowl. So, listen. He's begging her. She's, like, telling him this is the first sister. She's first. Well, the first one, actually, I'm not going to tell the whole thing. For those who haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it for y'all. I'm sorry, baby. Um, but for the girl, it starts out where it's like a married man, you know, they sleeping together, whatever. And it's like really, really crazy because 
the girl is really into this married man. And he, like, leads her on. This is kind of my review of the show, y'all. So, he kind of leads her on and makes her, like, each, every, every other month or every two to three months, you know. I wish y'all could see my bun better. It's okay, though. You need to see me eat. <laughs> um, make a long story short or whatever, he tells her every other month or every two months or three months that, um, that, um, he's going to leave his wife. He leaves her one. Every single three months. She was like, you said that three months ago. He don't never leave. He making an excuse again. She keeps sleeping with him. Give me what he want. He buys her his lavish gifts. All types of things. And she takes it. She gets tired a little bit. This is just the first episode. But it's so good. Thank you, Tyler Perry. You knew what you were doing, and I love it. I honestly said, hmm. I'm gonna suck the shells out these real quick, y'all. I already killed this crap. It's just about done. So, Nero, I just like, Tyler Perry know what he's doing. He is extremely talented. The next is the honey, and this is real life. This happens. The freaking man is a cheater. He's a scum. He's terrible. And things like that. And girl, when I tell you, she finally gets tired. She said, listen, you got to go. You got to get out of here. I can't take it no more. You got to go. Look, y'all, I'm already into this one. I don't play no games, honey. So she like, you got to go. Mind you, if you like just, you know, a fast forward or did something crazy you shouldn't have did. We're talking about Tyler Perry's sisters doing this mukbang. It's a part of one of my topics. So, child, when I tell you, okay, it's like, you got to go. I can't take it no more. This is just too much for me. You know, you got to go. You got to go. So, he goes or whatever. And by the time she gets off of work and comes home, he's back at the crib. He's like, mama, you know, I ain't got no key, but I'm ready to come back home. Standing there at the door, y'all. Mind you, sis, you fucked up. I'm sorry for my younger subscribers. Sis, you messed up. Okay, and I might not edit that out because this your 10-year-old child should not be watching my channel. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway. That was a good shrimp. Anyway, girl, these got shrimp. All you gotta suck the seasoning off of it. That's what makes it extra good. But um She left him back in the house or whatever. And I'm like, why would she let him back in that house? She just told him that it was time for him to go. Time's up, blue, blue, time to leave. You got to go. Oh. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. It's time for you to get the hell up out of here. You're not doing what I got. You don't not, you're not keeping your promises. You're not treating me and making me. You know what I'm saying? Feel the things of the things. It's time to go. So, Tom, she let him back in the house. I knew she fucked up right there. Honestly, child, she might. Go back on her word. So, long story short, with this one, this the other sister. I ain't going to try to spill too much. But by now, y'all should have watched it anyway because it came on already. Um, so, the motherfucking man comes back up in the house and he like, oh no, you know I can't. You know how niggas do, girl. You know how they do try to sweep you off your feet and ease their way back in and things like that. I'm glad I've been married for like six years we've been together for like 10 and a lot of people don't understand our relationship and it's not for them to understand but regardless of the fact we remain we're still here and um it is what it is and i understand that but my thing is if he fuck up the first time cool you know men are human men are human so it's like you can give them a pass the first time I believe in that. It's okay. You might you might have made a mistake, and it depends on how large the mistake is. Don't miss, don't go, don't get me wrong. Okay, but once you decide to take him back that first time, cool. Boo hoo hoo! He promised that he ain't gonna do it again. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Give him a try. Give that man a try. Give him. I'm, I'm so sorry, y'all, for my view, but I really wanted to make it, like, equal right now. My pretty couch cover behind me. I love my pink couch cover. Uh, 
But um, I'm 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 in such a good mood, you guys. So many good things are happening right now. Just to give you guys kind of an update, and then I'll get back to that. Like we're in the process of adopting, so we upgraded to a two bedroom, which I love so much. We have a lake view, and um, lots of ducks and just like freaking freaking animal life. It's an awesome view. Very quiet neighborhood. Very quiet neighborhood. Very quiet. It's a lot of children in the neighborhood as compared because we used to live in a, um, it was very much a, um, I want to call it more so resort style. Literally, that's what it was. Like, that's the advertisement and the condominiums were like resort style living. So I was like questioning when we moved here to these condos because it's like these have two levels, a lot of them. Um, ours is like a huge two bedroom with the lake view. You get different choices of your upgrade of style. Shout out to this shirt, y'all. Get into it. I wish y'all could see this body because I've been working out and I look good. I look damn good. So anyway, I'm very excited about certain things that are happening and like Things are in hashment and knowledge is being given at work. You know, things are working out in my career areas and like God has literally been blessing us. And you know, I always tell my husband, I'm like, you know, things get tough, but regardless of anything, we stick it out. So that's leading me back to what I my next back to my back to my and then I feel fill y'all in on the rest of what I'm going on uh, um, the adoption and everything else. Cause some people do ask and I'm like, adoption's a very long process. So Mmm, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna try this potato. This potato look good. Mmm. Mmm. Damn, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that butter. So, back to my story, though. For my new, 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 new subscribers. I jump top it, so keep up. She let him back in the house, back to Tyler Perry's sisters. Cause past up, most of this um, mukbang review was about that. So she let him back in the house. He back her. He like, oh, I can't live without you, mama, and you know, I love you, and I just don't want to be without you and all that stuff. And girl, mind you, she takes him back. He gets on his knees and begs her, pretty much. He gets on his knees and begs her to come back home and give him another shot. So, girl, when I tell you she took this man back, she was like, gave him a hug back and fuck him. Let him spend a night or come back home. She said, well, you can stay on the couch. She gave him the couch. So, later on that night, she in her bedroom. Playing with her vibrator, honey. While he in there on the couch. I'm like, sis, you just making all types of wrong moves. You just don't want this man to go nowhere. What's going on? Child. This girl is in there playing with her new nanny. She playing with her new nanny, y'all. I just realized I'm also recording from my iPad Pro. So the view is going to be a lot more sharper and closer to y'all. So y'all should like this. Anyway. See how I skip topics? Back to it. She and us. Playing with her Bunani. All up in the boudoir. Mind you, she in her bedroom. So whatever she doing in her bedroom, it really ain't nothing to do with her with him. But like, girl, this is your ex-boyfriend. I mean, or your boyfriend or whatever you guys are. Because you decided that you didn't want to be with him no more. Because he's a dog. Welcome like a dog, sis. Welcome like a dog. I can't believe she did this. So she in there, girl, when you hot and you heavy, I'm, I get it. You know what I'm saying? You probably couldn't wait it. You didn't have time to be waiting. Excuse me, y'all. I know y'all heard that. I threw the talking. Mm. 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 Anyway. She in there playing with her punani. And when I tell you, he here. He only in the living room on the couch. 
He in the living room on the couch. He can hear you, girl. He can hear you. She in there buzzing like a bumblebee. She buzzing like she buzzing like a bumblebee in there with that with that vibrator on her punani. And so he come up in there. Oh, I, I don't even think he knocked y'all. Just no privacy, no nothing. Like, mind you, y'all just broke up. The least you could do is knock on the door. You like the nigga that's in and out the house right now. I mean, you should have some sort of respect. Please excuse my dog because she's so damn rude. Wait, lay down, sweetie boo. Lay down, honey. So anyway, he come up in there. And he gonna, she buzzing like a bumblebee. She stopped it for like a few minutes. She stopped it. And she like, oh no. And she covered herself up or whatever. Like she wasn't doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Trying to hide it. And he like, baby, what you doing? And she said, I'm there like, nothing. You should be in there on the couch. This is not for you. This is not yours. He ain't trying to hear that shit, girl. He wants some of that punani. So he sit up there, honey. And he set up there, pull the sheets back. And next thing you know, honey, they was back in the haystack. She paid a little hard to get for like two seconds, girl. But she wanted that dick so bad. And I'm like, girl, you set up there trying to play hard to get and play possum. Knowing damn well you wanted that man to fill your goddamn vaginal cavities with his penis. Don't play with me, girl. So, more of our story is... If you put a nigga out and you take him to the curb, I thank God I didn't have to go through this because I'm not that patient. First of all, if we get to a point where you're not this or that or whatever, honey, ain't nothing better. You're not supposed to be doing nothing like that. You're not supposed to be doing it. And she sit up there playing with herself with a vibrator. After you let him back in the house. Girl, you knew something was bound to happen. That's all I can say. Hey, baby. How you doing? My husband just got home. So I just thought it was really, really much. What's that? You can come join the. You want to taste the shrimp? Taste the shrimp. Yeah. So I just really felt like that was just out of the way. Hi, YouTube. They can't see you. I'm on the iPad. I just felt like that was um a little bit too much for her to just take him back so quickly. Some of them got a little cold. Cause I just been that late. Um. But anyway. More of the story is, if you want to do that, honey, and you going to do that, don't don't cry possum after he coming in and lay it down. Because Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry knew exactly what he did. Shut up! Shut up! So, child, and you know, one thing that I always say, you know, when it comes to stuff like that, you know, you just have to really understand and be, you know, sticking to your guns. You know, don't allow him to just come back up in there. But another thing that I wanted to talk about besides all of that, child, that Kanye West and just what he got going on. Mm. Honey, yeah. do something with her. Huh? She's in my video squeaking and shit. Honey, shut this bitch up for a popper. She wants to get to you, so she's loud in my video, honey. I only got like 10 more minutes to go. Damn, I can't even record my shit. I'm not mad at you, but damn, could you fucking throw her over the balcony into the lake? Steven, remember to edit this out. Booth, edit this out. Damn, this is why I don't do this shit. Trying to get some money. Throw her over the balcony, please, honey. Throw her ass. Right. Go. Get. Go. Get out my. Go. Get the fuck out. Oh, loud my damn video. Stop. Stop. I'm back, you guys. So. Where I was at last, this whole Kanye West situation and just how people, because people at my job was talking about it, some of my employees. Uh, I'm a realist. A real bitch. As much as the older I get, even with my family, or just like in general, people who made assumptions about me or felt like, oh, they just know something about me. Why don't you just come right to me and ask me? 
At this point, you only get one life to live, so I don't care to lie to nobody about who the fuck I am. That is good. That peach tea. This is the peach tea, Arizona. It's so good. So, my thing is, just be real. That's Kanye real. That's Kanye West's real self. Everybody say, oh, well, it was because after he got with the Kardashians, the Kardashians, that some of that, some of that very well may be true. The Kardashians could have probably had something to do with his mental, you know, kind of uh, declining and stuff like that and him being so damn crazy. They could have. It very is possible. But my thing is, that's not nothing overnight because Kanye was always been a little different. That's my only thing. Kanye West always been a little different. Um, regardless of everything, like when he went up there and shook Trump's hand or whatever. You ain't think that was going to offend none of them. None of the fucking Democrats. Not even just the, not even, not even just that factor that it would offend the Democrats for you parlaying with him and agreeing with his fucked up bullshit, basically. And no offense, Kanye West, if you ever do see this or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's no offense. I still love your music. Jesus walks with everything. I ain't saying she a gold digger and stuff like that. I love all of those. But you, out there, and I guess you don't have a certain audience. We all love you. But the decisions that Kanye West make, I can think beyond that and still see his talent because who he is as a person doesn't really affect me. But... A lot of diehard fans go hard for Kanye, and I understand that. I'm not a diehard fan of Kanye. I just happen to like his music and his style. He has really good style. But I don't want people to blame everything on the Kardashians because Kanye West, that was already in him. A lot of the songs he made and a lot of ways he was, period, it proved that. You know what I'm saying? My only thing is, when I reevaluate everything... I think Kanye West is a very talented artist. I think he is very opinionated. But I do think his thinking process is a little warped. Now, that's my personal opinion. A lot of people at work said worse. But, I also think, as a marketing strategy, and just a, mmm, bitch, this butter sauce is good. And I ain't even gonna lie to you and tell you no lies out this motherfucker. This butter sauce is the truth of the truth. So, my thing is, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say he's a bad person. When people saying words, I just don't think you should act like that person never showed you who they were. It doesn't surprise me. Because I know who he is and how he is. You know what I'm saying? But, it's that. And it's this Nicki Minaj and Cardi B beef that I'm just so over. Like, both of them are very talented. You know what I mean? And, like, both of them got banging bodies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nicki Minaj is married now. You know, she got her man. She got her little situation settled down, ready to have some cheering of her own and stuff like that. Shout out to Nicki. Congratulations, boo. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> I both felt like that music really isn't nothing to like. Like, I feel like Nicki Minaj can be like real animated and real like, oh, you know, she's very much that. Cardi don't give that. Cardi is committing her own name. She do her own thing. So I don't see why we have to have this beef back and forth. Like, y'all need to squash that shit because. Y'all could probably do a banging ass collab again and really not have no drama with her. Why do female rappers always have to feud? You wanna know why? The main reason the hottest or the female rappers end up feuding is because of how America puts it always has to be female rappers in a rival rivalry. It always has to be a rivalry and it always has to be who's the best. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's always like that. And I'm like, I like both of them. Honestly, I'm not going to be picking. I'm not going to choose size. No, I'm almost done. Mm. 
I'm not going to choose sides. But when it comes down to it, I think both of them are very talented. They're very beautiful young women. They have their own ways of handling things, which is fine. Cardi B, she's a little more hood than Nicki. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You know? She's learned to, to adjust to not 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 changing herself or anything like that but as far as i know she even took some classes to learn how to um you know talk and stuff like that and um communicate a little bit more effectively as far as when she's mentioning words and stuff like that so i think that's a big step you know of trying to really you know so you can get people to clearly understand you and stuff that's a blessing but um my thing is her music be careful all those songs i love them i love them all so, mm -mm. I'm not going to pick between Nikki and Cardi. I'm just not doing it. I love them both. I'm team Barty and I'm team motherfucking Nikki. So, you know, I was team Nikki before, though. Don't get it fucked up. But just because, just because somebody new come out and they good... Doesn't mean we have to instantly not give them their, their props for being talented. No matter if Cardi got a writer or whatever she do, Cardi is talented. Cardi got a banging body. You know what I'm saying? She has her attribute that she brings to the table. Both of them are very good looking. Both of them have good body. So I just don't feel as though we should have to keep putting them against each other. And a lot of times, they have to be made to put against each other just because. They might not... Nicki Minaj may have a little feud or may have a little issue with um, Cardi and they never say nothing about it or overlook it. But because America want them to play against each other or, 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 or play who's the best or play the rivalry and in that, and, and in that game, um, they end up actually having to feel as though they have to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that bitch. Hmm. Jesus almost missed my mouth. It's about... Oh, Jesus, honey, it did. 30-second rule, okay? My floor is clean. Oh, <laughs> thing. It's okay. But I say it like this, and I say it all the time. Listen, ain't nothing wrong with clapping back. But people end up losing their lives. They end up like, for instance, when they had that little fight in that professional setting with all of those white people. I'm sorry, Caucasian, because I don't want to offend none of my, none of my Caucasian followers. Giving them a reason to think about us in a, in a bad way. Cardi, if you say, okay, you got a little bit of black Latino or, you know, whatever that is up in you, which is fine. I feel like you should also represent that part of you in a, in a, in a good manner to the point where, okay, cool. Nikki, if, if she offended you or said something, y'all need to learn better ways to handle stuff. Y'all sitting up there and y'all role models to people. And we got there on the red carpet. And y'all doing the red carpets and you the one that is shown in the spotlight. I feel like y'all should handle yourself a little better. Like granted, Nikki didn't do nothing but uh, snatching her or whatever you did. Cardi, like that was just a little too much. Girl, you got money. You got a man, no matter what people say about you. And offset. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If that worked for her or she feel like she want to take him back or however... Or even if y'all don't know the whole situation, you, it's, uh, it's always two sides to every story. So, okay, cool. If he cheated on her or whatever, if she feel like she can handle it, or if she feel like they, if they have an agreement or however, y'all don't know about it. You never know. Well, that's why I stay in my lane and I mind my business because to me, no, I'm not doing no relationship. Can we bring somebody in the bedroom, spice it up a little bit? Yeah. I'll try anything once. No, I have never had a threesome, so don't ask me about it. But y'all are gonna be so excited because I will be doing my um one of my one of my subscribers asked me if I could do one of the Q and A's. So I'm gonna be doing a nice little juicy Q and A. I only got a few crabs left, y'all. Ooh, Jesus, y'all, this was so good, and I enjoy talking to y'all and just gossiping it out and just really chopping it up, cause. Ooh, I just be need somebody to eat with me, baby. I just feel like I'm happy JT's home. 
Everybody be like, oh, you talk about her like you know her. I do. JT, I love you. You my sis, Jotavia. Hit my phone, Jotavia. Mwah, I love you, bitch. We gonna get some seafood together. Yes. Y'all, listen. Listen, 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 listen. Let's not even compare or compete the situation. But when I tell you I love the city girls, I love the city girls. I love Santana. Because he's an extension of the city girls. JT is my baby. Okay. Young Miami. Mm. That's my baby. Carisha and JT are my babies. And I always say that. Listen, when I come to Miami, we fucking shit up. Like, y'all need to be in my inbox. Let me know when to come twerk because, like, I'm ready. I'm just trying to quit my job and come work for y'all. And that's that's all I'm saying because, listen, I just want to be with y'all. That's it. I just want to be with y'all. I'm pretty sure I can do the hair. I can do the makeup. I'll do something. I'll carry your fucking, your, your pocketbook. Whatever you want me to do. I'm in there, baby. <laughs> no, I'm getting that serious, though. I, I'm, I'm super sonic serious. Okay. But I'm going to get ready to wrap this video up, y'all. I just wanted to come on and do a quick little mukbang with y'all. I'm pretty much done. I just got a few minutes or a few more crabs left. But we have to go handle a few things. And then we're supposed to be going to the movies to go see. Um, what are we going to see, honey? Black, Black and blue. Black and blue. We're going to see Black and Blue, so by the time y'all see this video tonight, it will be sponsored, and it's going to be being shared, and um, it's also going to be edited by this evening. So, I'm going to post right on YouTube once it's been uploaded. I mean, on Facebook once it's been uploaded. But I'm going to get ready to sign out, y'all. I'm pretty full. I've met my time limit on this video. Facebook wants you to just do it at least a half an hour. So just be looking out, y'all, because on the next video, I'm going to be doing a nice juicy Q&A video. The Q&A videos, first of all, that I always see, first of all, some of them are juicy, but it gives you rehearsed. I'm not rehearsing mine, y'all. My Q&A video that I'm going to give y'all is going to be straight off my top. I wish y'all could see my bum better. But thank you guys for tuning in to my YouTube video. And please be sure to like. Comment and subscribe down below. Be sure to share my video and make sure you tell me what you would like for me to record next. And I'm signing out.